go as slow as shadow on the mic I play to win, never to lose In the contest of champions I'm the one that shoes Swipe straight down, my moves are slick Dexterity more heavily, I dodge quick Class champ, I'm the master of the game Cosmic science, skill tech mutant I claim Arena and chill grind, that's how I roll No stress, no drama, just on patrol The fight, I'm swift, my tactics excite Lost shadows in the arena, ready to ignite From the streets to the screen, my skills are renowned in the world of Marvel, I'm the King Crown. So listen up, here's the story of the champ, Lord Shadow's the name. I'm the Grime Track fan. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. The time to take up some more champions. Now I know what you're thinking. If you watched my last Mystery Rank Up Theater, you're probably thinking, again? So soon? Aren't you kind of out of stuff? I'm very close. I have never been this low on ISO. Let me tell you, never. Um, well, at least when I first started playing, but it's been years since I was this low on ISO. So before I had to do these uh, rank ups, I was opening all kind of crystals, hoping to get a little bit of more ISO so that I could do these rank ups. And even then, you'll notice that I ran out and had to use some of the gray um, ISO. But anyway, if you think you can guess who I took up, we got two, two rank ups and two ascensions. I finally figured out who I wanted to ascend, okay? So we ascended two champs and we ranked up two champs. So you got a few things to guess. See if you can guess what champions I ranked up and what champions I ascended. All right? So we're about to reveal the first rank up in five, four, three, two, one. First one up is Weapon X. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I have been hunting Weapon X for the longest time. He was the only trophy champion I did not have in any rarity. When I went to my filters and I did unowned, he was the only one that showed up. And we finally got him during one of the um, banquet events. And we got the five star and the six star. I was like, whoa. Okay. So I had to take him up and he will go in my deck. So we'll see if people start um, banning him like they banned some of the others. We'll see. All right. Now, the next one is going to be an old favorite. And I already have him in my Battlegrounds deck. And I was thinking he's good as he is, but this will make him better. And that one is... Korg. So my Korg all this time was ranked three. And he was still doing some work in Battlegrounds. So now at rank four, he'll be a little bit tougher. Now he is available as a seven star. But this Korg is SIG 200. So even the seven star Korg, if I got the seven star Korg unawakened, I would not put him in my Battlegrounds uh, deck over this Korg. And if I do get him awakened, I still wouldn't use the 7-star over this Korg. So this Korg is one of those champions that is worthy, for defense purposes especially, of going to even rank 5, even though there is a 7-star available. All right? Now... To close the video, we got two ascensions, and I agonized over these ascensions. And I'm actually 50 dust short of another ascension. All right, but the first one is going to be Claire. I don't know why I have not uh, ascended her before now, but she was mad at me. So I went ahead and ascended her. Then... I was like, hmm, this one I was choosing between, I had at least four different options I wanted to ascend, okay? And I was trying to think of, all right, who's available as a seven star? 
Um, does their sig matter? Blah, blah, blah. And finally, I thought of this one. And it's going to be Iceman. He's already in my Battlegrounds deck, and he already uh, won me a good match. And yes, he is SIG 200. So why not ascend this one? Um, even, again, like with Korg, even if I take him, uh, get him as a seven star and awaken him, he won't be better than this guy for a while. Not only that, but this Iceman is a double threat. I've actually used him on offense and one and defense and one. So he's actually pretty good. The only thing that um, he was lacking back in the day was damage. And even though I run the ouchies um, and gave him a little bit more damage, it, it really just wasn't enough and he fell off. I used to use him all the time in Alliance War. They fixed him. They increased his damage considerably. He's actually a lot of fun to play and he'll be useful in war if they don't ban him. All right, but anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day. Arena and chill grind, that's how we roll. No stress, no drama, just on patrol. In the fight, he swift. His tactics be tight. Those shadows in the arena ready to ignite. From the streets to the screen, his skills be renowned. In the world of Marvel, Lord, the King Crown. Oh, oh.